Hey, it's Chris here with your fishing forecast for October 16th. Uh, before we hop on to this week's uh, fishing forecast, a couple of reminders. We have some fly tying classes, some casting classes coming up as well. Uh, this weekend, we've got our second round of the Space School. There's a couple spots left for that. So if you've been wanting to up your spay casting game, definitely check that out while you still can. We also have uh, our October 30th fly tying class is sold out with Nick Roman, but we do have a couple of spots left for the center pin tying class this coming week, as well as a break even beginner fly tying lesson uh, next Wednesday as well that you want to check out. So you can see all those coming up on the website. Uh, with that, what do we have in store for fishing? Well, uh, weather looks nice this week. We've got nice cool temperatures, uh, borderline cold almost, so don't forget the gloves when you get out there, uh, which is good for steelhead and salmon fishing. Um, this time of year, we're mostly focused on our steelhead and those brown trout that are starting to show up. Um, what we would say is that, you know, we haven't had a lot of rain this week, so focus on the rivers with better water flows. Um, so that is both your larger rivers, rivers like the Grand, the Saugeen, and Ottawa Saga, Niagara, big rivers that have water all the time and uh, some of your smaller rivers with just better groundwater. So as opposed to to name drop a river like the Dawn River that flows right through Toronto uh, where you have a lot of concrete around it. If you look further afield to some of your eastern tributaries and things like that uh, where you have you know better groundwater supply you'll tend to get a good number of early fish in those rivers as well. Uh, so if you'd like some specific recommendations on where we would be hitting ourselves definitely get in touch with us we'll be happy to help you out. That's a good sort of starting point as to where we'd be thinking. Thank you. Uh, now, when you're talking early season steelhead, there's a couple of key points to keep in mind. Um, the first thing is, you know, they're not always going to be in the water uh, that they're going to be in in the winter. So um, to help you find those fish early season, really focus on heads of pools and riffles and pocket water. A lot of that gets neglected, and that's a lot of the time where those early season fish are going to sit because that uh, more frothed up water at the heads of pools has better oxygen content, and it's actually better cover for those fish uh, when conditions are lower and clearer. So target your fast to water and downsize on the patterns would be the other piece of advice that we have for you. So instead of fishing super bright giant flies for these fish, whether that's streamers or nymphs or uh, whether you're drifting giant row bags or whatever, uh, just downsize things this time of year. So we are huge fans of smaller nymphs paler egg flies um, and small bait fish patterns are a great way to go things like a little white death or something similar um, just looks like a natural bait fish it also lets you cover water fairly quickly too uh, while still not spooking fish so that should help you get into those early season fish we're definitely hearing more and more reports of steelhead being caught every day so things are shaping up nicely uh, but just some pointers to help you get going and then lastly, if you're itching for some resident trout, if you're missing trout since things closed uh, here for our regular trout season, um, remember there are opportunities to get out this time of year. This can be a really fun time of year uh, to hit some resident trout. We've got a couple of rivers within a decent um, day trippable distance uh, of Toronto that offer some really good rainbow and brown trout fishing uh, that you can get on dry flies this time of year. So that can be very fun. We also have the US side, which a lot of people neglect. So in New York and Pennsylvania, you can get down there within just a couple hours of Toronto, including border crossing if you go uh, for a nice early morning drive. And it can make for a really fun day trip to get some resident trout, potentially some October dry fly action too. So if you're not sure where to start there, uh, we can definitely point you in the right direction. We've done it ourselves. We love doing it is a, a way to mix up your fishing a little and uh, a lot of people neglect it because they think it's too far afield but it's a very easy day trip to do too so something else to think about for your weekend fishing hope this helps you out as always if you have any questions get in touch we'll be happy to help you out